Hi second graders, today's story is from Knowledge 6 Lesson 8 called The Life Cycle of a Butterfly. Before I begin our story, I'm going to introduce you to our vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word for today's story is the word larva. Repeat after me, larva. Larva is the early form of an insect that is not completely developed yet. Our second vocabulary word is the word molt. Say molt. Molt means to shed an outer layer. Our last vocabulary word is the word transparent. Say transparent. Transparent means something that is clear or see-through. You've already learned about five cycles. You've learned about the seasonal cycle, the life cycle of a flowering plant, the life cycle of a tree, the life cycle of a chicken, and the life cycle of a frog. Today you will learn about the life cycle of a butterfly. A butterfly's life cycle is somewhat different from most animals because it goes through a stage called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a process in which a living thing changes or transforms from one shape into another. This means that it literally changes its entire appearance. Let's hear more about the extraordinary life cycle of those beautiful creatures called butterflies. Did you know that there are about 25,000 different kinds of butterflies in the world? Butterflies vary in size from about 1 eighth of an inch to almost 12 inches in size. The largest butterfly in the world is the Queen Alexandra birdwing. Its wingspan is 12 inches wide. It lives in the rainforests of New Guinea. The smallest butterfly is the Western Pygmy Blue from Africa. Incredibly, butterflies can only fly when their bodies are warm enough. The butterfly's body temperature must be 85 degrees for them to take to the air. When they do, the fastest butterflies can fly at 12 miles per hour. They cannot move at all if their body temperature drops below 55 degrees. Well, now that you know some interesting facts about butterflies, it's time to find out more about the butterfly's life cycle. A butterfly begins its life as an egg that has been produced by its mother. Butterfly eggs can be round or oval. There are, set, there are even some that are cylindrical in shape. The shape of an egg often depends on the kind of butterfly that laid the egg. Female butterflies lay their eggs on the leaves of plants. They do this so that when their young hatch, there is food right there for them to eat. They choose these leaves carefully, selecting only the leaves that their young will eat. Depending on the kind of butterfly, it can take from 6 days to 21 days for the eggs to hatch. Can you guess what hatches out of a butterfly egg? Well, it isn't a butterfly. It is actually a tiny caterpillar, also called a larva. The caterpillar is a small creature that moves by squeezing its muscles. It squeezes its muscles starting at its back end of its body and moving up to its head. This movement pushes the caterpillar forward. A caterpillar also uses its muscles to eat. The caterpillar's job is to eat as much as it can. Caterpillar, the caterpillar eats the egg that sheltered it. Then it begins to eat on the leaf that it was born. The tiny caterpillar keeps on eating, devouring all the leaves around it. Caterpillars don't sleep. So they eat during the day and at nighttime too. They grow very quickly. Because caterpillars grow so quickly, they outgrow their skin. This means that because their skin does not grow with them the way yours does, they molt or shed their outer skin to reveal new skin underneath. They do this repeatedly until they are fully grown. Some caterpillars even eat their own old skin. A caterpillar is usually full grown somewhere between nine and 21 days. At this stage, the caterpillar will leave its food supply and go in search of a safe, leafy place to enter into the next stage of its life cycle. Once in the safe place, it attaches itself to a twig or small branch by making a silk pad on the bottom of the twig or branch. The caterpillar then hooks itself onto the silk pad. In the next stage, the caterpillar forms a protective outer casing called a pupa or chrysalis. The formation of the chrysalis is the final stage of molting or shedding of the outer skin. When it molts for the final time, the new skin becomes the outer shell of the chrysalis. Inside the chrysalis, something incredible happens. The caterpillar transforms from one thing into another in a process called metamorphosis. Think about what a caterpillar looks like when it is fully grown, just before metamorphosis. It is, a small, it is small and round. When it emerges from the chrysalis, it is no longer a caterpillar, but a delicate, beautifully colored butterfly with wings. The caterpillar's body has completely changed. The butterfly does not look anything like the small, round-bodied creature it used to be. Instead of mouth parts that chew, 
The butterfly has a straw-like tube that can suck nectar from sweet-tasting flowers. It has an antenna. This metamorphosis takes between 10 to 14 days to complete. At first, the butterfly's wings are very delicate. They are quite, they're quite soft and are folded up, not yet ready to carry the butterfly up into the air. It'll take several hours before the butterfly is ready to take to the sky. During this time, a fluid is being pumped all around the butterfly's body, especially into its wings. When the butterfly is ready to fly, it will also be ready to find a mate. Butterflies use their eyes to find a mate. Male butterflies send out special scents to attract female butterflies. Male butterflies fertilize the eggs of female butterflies. The life cycle begins all over again as female butterflies search for the right places to lay their eggs. Amazingly, female butterflies use their feet to find the best place to lay their eggs. The butterfly tastes various leaves using her feet to find just the right home for her young. She knows that when her eggs hatch, they will need an instant food supply. Did you know that butterflies do not live for a very long time? Many butterflies live for just about one month. There are even some that live for just a matter of days. However, there are a few, such as the monarch butterfly, that can live for almost a year and in the fall migrate thousands of miles. During their lifetime, butterflies help to pollinate our flowering plants. Because they are cold-blooded and only like warm weather, we only see them in the late spring and summer. But when we do, they are a beautiful sight to see in our gardens and parks. Perhaps now that you know all about the life cycle of a butterfly, when you next see one, you'll appreciate it even more.